Hello guys, welcome back to an FTN Spo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss you best Acer Nitro XV272U calibration settings. So if you're interested, let's get started. So you might be looking for the best calibration settings here for your Acer Nitro. Well, there are going to be a few things that you may want to change. So first is going to be the gamma settings. So for a balanced image with accurate mid-tones here, you want to set the gamma to around like 2.2. Now, this ensures that your blacks aren't too dark and your whites aren't overly bright. Now, next is you want to change or update your color temperature and gain adjustments. Now, to get the most uh, natural and accurate color here, you may want to switch uh, to user mode to and basically adjust the color gain settings as follows. So, you might want to set your green to around 47, your blue 51, and your red 52. Now, if you prefer a more neutral color balance here, you can set the red, greens, and blue to 50, which is going to be the most balanced option or for a more even tone here. Now, for the brightness and contrast setting here, you want to easy update it. So, in this case, you want to adjust the brightness based on the ambient lighting for a comfortable viewing experience here. So in this case, 170, uh, 776 nits to uh, you want to set this to brightness of around 200. 120 nits set the brightness around 67. 100 nits to 51, and 80 nits to 33, and 50 nits to basically 8. Now for the minimum brightness here, you want to set it to the lowest setting. Now for contrast, set the value to 49 for a good balance between dark and light light areas here. Now, there are some additional settings that you may want to change here. So first is the super, uh, super sharpness. So you want to disable this to prevent any artificial edge enhancements. And also for HDR mode here, you, you want to, uh, when watching, a, a, like for example, HDR content, you may want to manually switch to HDR 400 mode for optimal brightness and contrast. Now for the adaptive sync, this is, uh, in this case, you want to enable this to reduce screen tearing and make gameplay a lot smoother. Now, next for overdrive and visual response here, uh, response boost here for gaming. So for overdrive, you, in this case, uh, you wanna, in this case, adaptive sync enabled here. So in this case, the setting is grayed out, but function at a uh, at the balance level to minimize ghosting here. Now for VRB or in this case, motion blur reduction. Uh, in this case, you have the option to choose between uh, two options. So you have normal, which slightly reduce motion blur with minimum brightness loss here. And it's extreme here to reduce blur further, but lowers brightness and significantly and may cause art, art, artifacts here. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.